All righty, all righty, all righty. Welcome to another day. Welcome to another project. And today I'm uh, here because I bought this uh, transmission jack adapter that I'm going to be using on my uh, seat, using on my uh, transmission jack to uh, remove the transmission out of uh, my uh, Texas edition here. I have for some time been plagued with the uh, with that converter shuffle that they so famously do. And so with that being said, I know I need to remove it. They uh, have, uh, they have these uh, transmission uh, jacks. Uh, they'll sell them for right at 200 bucks. But I said that I was gonna try one of these adapters to see if I could uh, use it. Um, I got an older one here, but for some reason I seem to have lost the uh, parts to it. So I'm gonna attempt to use this new one here. Let's see if it gets the job done. And it's kind of hot in here. Let me get everything cleaned off so you all can get a good look at, at, as I put this thing together. All right, so number one, the diagrams on it was all tore to pieces. They were tore to hell. So I wasn't able to uh, actually, uh, I had to first fix the diagrams. Like I said, they, they were tore to hell. So I had to fix them before I could even uh, get started. So let's get, let's get going. The diaphragm, the diagram show they show the parts and then they even show the finished product. So for most of you know that we can get it done like that. So it shows uh, it should top here. You're gonna have an eyelet bolt on one of these tops here. Just two of them. And they're gonna be on opposing sides. So let's get let's get to that. See if we can get it figured out. Then you will have the chain. Take the chain out of there. And it's like this. This goes like this.
these go through here. This goes like this. And you have a lock right let's see if it's the same No, they're not. You have this here. Washer where you can slide. The other side, set it down. You have the same thing. Put your arm here where you can slide. Nothing to it. Gotta hold it down. Nothing to lock wash, lock it. That's where you can adjust it. Okay, so now it's looking like something now. Then we got two horseshoes here, here. All right, so get these chains open. Chains are really gonna tell the tale. Looks like you're gonna have a chain. Here and here, chain's gonna go out. You can get the picture of it, what it's going to do. Another one here. Lock washer. Let washing the nook. And I can guarantee you they can give me all the that's what it's gonna look like. Two times are gonna go over the transmissions. Actually, what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to have been like this. It's supposed to have been like this. This side's supposed to go. It's like that. I had it wrong. Sorry about that. But looking at it, because it's gonna, you're gonna have to be able to adjust. There we go. So that will go like that. Then you're gonna have, then you should have okay. should have two of these little horseshoes here. These horseshoes here, what they're gonna do is they're gonna go through here like this. Go through here just like this here. Should we put that there? But that's not gonna go there. Horseshoe's gonna go here with a little eyelets. That's what we call them eyelets. Eyelets here. Uh, 
All right, let's go here. And you're gonna take these clearances, unscrew these, find the end of the chain. Clearance is gonna go through there. Put these here. Screw these in. And what this is gonna do is gonna go over. It'll go over the transmission. If you, you can see of such, it'll go over the transmission. Then what'll happen, you'll hook it to here like this. And that'll pull it. And that's just the way it goes. And you have this here to adjust it. For the boat that adjust it. It seems like a pretty good little tool. And uh, we're going to give it a whirl on my uh, transmission to see. But uh, for what I paid for it and for what it actually does, is worth it's uh worth to try because I said I have an old one. And that's it. That's it right there. Goes right through there. That's it. So Got that out the way. Got it. Got it established. Down, down. Make sure I don't leave any hard wire. No, no. Boom. 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 One piece right here. Needs to have a washer here so it can travel. Travel on right here. So it's supposed to fit on any transmission jack that's inch inch in diameter or better it's supposed to fit on those jacks let me tighten this up there we go it's all done all together, all the four pieces all together, maybe a little. Even though I had to uh, take and uh, put it together, you can see this came from a two flow. That's what it is. So we've got it completed. It's put together. And like I said, I had an old one here, but it was missing. This is my old one here, but it was missing all the hardware. It's missing all the hardware off of it. And this one here takes a takes a little uh snap ring. It takes a snap ring. So there's designed to go on these jacks here. They go right here. Hit the foot of the jack and let me show you that. So what you do is what you do is take the jack. Take the jack out. And you would take this off the jack. And so what this thing does here is it sits in that hole on the jack. So what I'm gonna do is jack this jack up. Well, I'm gonna attempt to jack this jack up if I got it tight. Oh, I ain't got it tight. Okay. So let me tighten the jack up. I still ain't got it tight. Okay. Oh, I still ain't got it tight.
There we go. Okay, so the way this works is this hole right here, where hole right here in the center of your jack, where your foot would go, you take this right here, it's right here, it's got a wash on it. it out screw it up and then you take the adapter And it goes inside the hole just like that. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. That's the setup there. And then you adjust your pitch on it. sideways or whatever. Just take this rod here. And there you go. It's right there. See that? Take the rod here. You can, like I say, you can just it out. Take the rod here. Set it out. And it'll fit a variety of transmissions. Set it out like that. There you are. And that allows you to be able to bolt it up on the transmission where it won't fall off the jet. You got maximum height. And everything. So there you are. Transmission jack adapter. Save you about a hundred bucks. Saves you about a hundred bucks because you don't have to buy a transmission jack and have that jack sitting around. You could just have this right here. So, with all that being said, call it a win-win. Got the old one here, I can't use it because it's got a snap ring. So I call that a win-win. And that's where we at. So, hey, next thing you know, I'll be taking this transmission out of there. Have a great day. I'll get you on the next one.